AI art generators are truly revolutionizing the creative fields. And now, even regular users can simply output majorly quality content just within the click of a mouse. So today, I'm to show you how you can create like stunning works with Leonardo AI. And yeah, its latest introduced character reference feature is just amazing. So let's test that out. And yeah, let's see what's so special about it. So let's start with the simple what Leonardo AI is. Leonardo AI is not just any art generator. It is a comprehensive digital artist toolset that is designed to cater like to diverse creative needs. From generating high quality art and images to creating 3D textures even, Leonardo AI shows unmatched versatility. Simply put, this platform leverages like state-of-the-art AI technology to empower users to produce like stunning visuals effortlessly. One of the standout features of Leonardo AI is the ability to generate multiple images simultaneously and it's based on text and image prompts. So whether you need assets for computer games or eye-catching graphics for a project, Leonardo AI can handle it all. Plus, it allows users to change the dimensions and resolution of their output images, making it incredibly versatile. And by the way, one of the killer features in the super advantage of using Leonardo AI is that users actually retain ownerships of all inputs and outputs so yeah, it makes it like super suitable for commercial purposes. So this aspect alone sets it apart from like many other AI tools on the market. And we've tried many different ones. Literally, it gives creators like peace of mind about that intellectual property. So how cool is that? Next, let's talk about Leonardo new update. And it's recently rolled out a major update that introduces new features that will enhance the user experience overall. So this recent 2024 update includes the highly anticipated image guiding tools, which now supports like style reference, content reference, and character reference. In short, these additions offer like unprecedented control over the image generation process, and it allows users to create like new images using styles and content from reference images and like reuse the content that you've previously generated. So image guidance tool provides like several benefits. So yeah, let's count them all. First, it's fine-tuned control. As of now, users can adjust various parameters such as depth, sketch, pose, and yeah, even QR code refine the images, then multiple image uploads. Premium users can also upload up to four reference images and apply different like, control net options to each. Then new user interface. Obviously, the updated UI makes it even easier to navigate and managing through different AI image guiding options. And it makes like the workflow with Leonardo AI super straightforward, even easier. And yeah, it all thanks to this new updated interface. So overall, with these enhancements, Leonardo AI ensures that you, like regular users, can craft the digital image compositions with like ease and even more precision. Right now, let's stop by with character reference feature. And to me, it feels like a game changer. So for anyone needing consistent character representation across multiple images, it is perfect. In short, this feature allows users to upload a single image of a person and consistently reproduce it and use the same character in various settings or even outfits or actions. I think it's perfect for creating like cohesive, consistent visual narratives. So whether it is for movies, games, or marketing materials, Leonardo AI can handle it all. So here is how character reference works. First, you can change the character's position, styling, and context while keeping their facial features consistent. And it also works with photographs, illustrations, and animated characters, simplifying the creative process overall. Advanced recognition feature uses AI-driven image processing to maintain character consistency ensuring that the characters like have the same face and the same features across like different scenarios. So once again, character reference is particularly useful in various fields like fashion, styling, or filmmaking, 
graphic novels, marketing, so anything you can think of. And just imagine generating a cinematic shot of a superhero like in various scenes while still maintaining a consistent appearance. So this feature makes it super possible and useful. And now I wanna show you how Leonardo AI feels in action. So yeah, let's just, I wanna demonstrate how we can create a comic book page using this character reference feature. And if you wanna try it for yourself, just follow the same steps that I'm making and generate the consistent character across different scenes. So yeah, let's try that. So let's start on you by heading to the Leonardo AI main page and let's just click image generation. It's right there. Next, you want to find the image guidance feature. So where is it? We cannot find it, but yeah, it's kind of easy. You just click on here on the left of the sidebar. And yeah, here we go. Image guidance. We see our like familiar style reference, character reference and content reference that I mentioned previously. But right here, we're interested more in character reference. So yeah, I'll just click on that. And by the way, I forgot to mention that Leonardo AI works best with previously generated AI images by Leonardo. So yeah, you can like generate a uh, character image first in Leonardo and like reuse it in this one. So I've uploaded like two pictures and yeah, I like the, the latter. So yeah, let's just click on that and let's use it as our reference. So as you can see, it's right here on the left as the character reference, we can use like low, mid or high settings. And yeah, let's just use the following scene, for example. I want to picture a story about a boy that enters like a dark dungeon. So yeah, it's kind of d and inspired story. So yeah, let's just, for example, generate the first scene, guy entering the dungeon, then fighting, like avoiding traps and maybe fighting with dragons. And finally getting treasures, loots, so whatever. I see it in black and white settings, maybe with some manga feeling. So yeah, it is kind of old fashioned, but still kind of interesting and modern in some ways. So yeah, our goal is to keep the same character face across multiple scenes and create like a, tell a compelling and consistent story with the same character. So yeah, let's just type in our first prompt and it's a guy holding a torch, scared of the dark, and it's like 2D manga illustration, black and white style. And I see it working best with like the following presets. So it is cinematic Kino and the preset style is monochrome. And yeah, number of images four in, in advanced settings, I selected Leonardo Kino Excel. Okay guys, so this is incredible. Just take a look at the pictures that I've managed to generate. So as you can see, I've changed just only one parameter, the Leonardo Anime Excel instead of the previous one. And yeah, you can see these incredible pictures, this super incredible like anime uh, comic book vibe. And yeah, you can use that in your works. You can just like uh, input some dialogues and it will work like a simple cartoon and you don't have to draw it yourself. Just, you know, work with AI and output these images and you will have like a compelling, full, incredible story with the same character. And yeah, that's just amazing how Leonardo AI reference feature works. So here's a compilation of four pictures that will work best for my plot, for my design. And yeah, that's exactly what I've imagined first. And this is the result that Leonardo AI just outputted with this character reference feature and it's super handy for the storytelling. And again, there are lots of use cases with this exact feature. So for example, you can use that in social media or work with digital content. So you can create like a virtual social media account and post stories with this, or just can use it in games and projects while keeping the same character consistent. So again, the opportunities are just vast with this Leonardo AI feature and with Leonardo AI in general. So yeah, I've just tested out myself and I was really happy with the result. And there's even more. I've gathered some tips and tricks for best practice with character reference feature, so you better check it out. So for better consistency, use an image of a person first generated by Leonardo AI. I said that before, but again, I wanna repeat that. And also the character reference feature is available only with Excel models and on paid plans. So just remember that. Next, you can combine characters. So reference with style or multi-style reference can yield amazing results. Make sure to use high quality reference images and avoid like blurry outputs. And the last one is to use Leonardo AI, well, their own article actually, to generate exact prompts and get the best results from your prompts. 
This article tells you how you can work with the prompts and what prompts you use the best to get the best results out of your needs. So yeah, I've actually used that one in my prompts. So I highly recommend checking it out and just experiment with these ones and see what prompts and what instructions work best for your needs. So what can I add more? I think Leonardo AI has already established itself as a top tier AI art generator and yeah, its comprehensive features and user-friendly interface makes the image generation just flawless. Especially with the addition of the image guidance tool and especially character reference feature. So overall, it enhances the platform's capabilities and makes it like super valuable tool for creators across multiple fields. While the platform could benefit from like improved community features, its strengths in real-time generation like canvas, paint modes, and even additional functionalities like 3D texture and motion video maker. So it makes it like a standout choice. So whether you are a game developer, maybe filmmaker or marketing professional, Leonardo AI offers the tools you need to bring your creativity visions into high new level. Just give it a spin and experience like the future of digital art creation because it's here.